Today we have the V900 from E-Flight. This is a high-speed airplane capable of 120 miles an hour right out of the box. The V900 is offered as a bind and fly or a plug and play. The plug and play model, you have to provide your transmitter and a receiver. With the bind and fly, you'll have to provide a transmitter match the included receiver, which is DSM-X or DSM-2. So you'll need a spectrum transmitter to match that technology. But aside from the transmitters, either version will require a three cell or four cell lithium battery between an 1800 and a 2200 milliamps with an EC3 connector. And then you will also need a compatible battery charger. Now, because we have high performance brushless electronics in this airplane, to reach our top speeds right here, using a three cell lithium battery, we can reach about 100 miles an hour. If we bump it up to the four cell, we're gonna reach that 120 plus miles an hour. We first flew using the recommended E-Flight uh, 2200-30C three-cell battery pack, um, and we first just got used to the plane, made some trim adjustments, um, all in all just kind of warming up to it. We went for a few high-speed passes after that. We were not able to get close to that 100 mile an hour mark that uh, is supposed to be capable on a three cell battery pack, but we had kind of a big disadvantage today. It was a beautifully sunny, clear day out, but it was especially windy. Thankfully on this bind and fly version, it has AS3X with the receiver that comes included and it worked really well. Uh, it was so windy that the plane, when, you, when it was close enough, you could see it fly. It was constantly making these minor adjustments, uh, especially when it was banking. It was not the pilot making those corrections. The stabilization was really, really helping out today in these high winds and high speeds. Once that three cell E-Flight battery dumped, we went for the four cell. So we picked up an 1800 four cell battery pack that just fit inside this battery compartment and it was a 70C, 7-0. So we went out, we made a few passes fighting the wind and we were close to about 100 miles an hour. We were up there in that area. Um, and we went and did a few passes like this until we went and recharged the battery. We came up with a new game plan and strategy and we finally decided to take the plane way up high, dive bomb it down, and then make our pass. And in doing that, it was very successful with our first pass exceeding 140 miles an hour. After that, we made a few more passes trying to replicate that really high speed and we were able to do it. We hit 137 one time and then another, it was 140 something, uh, but we were able to repeat those results of excess of 140 miles an hour. If you're wondering what we use to clock the speeds, we use the Speedmaster 3. It is a radar gun that works very well, and we've had very good success with it, so this is what we used. All in all, the V900 is an impressive airplane. It was easy to fly, it was easy to set the CG, just follow the instructions in the manual. Assembly is really easy, there's only three screws. There were very minimal adjustments to make to the trim, um, and then the not having landing gear part uh, really wasn't a problem. You just hand toss it to take off and then make a belly landing when you're coming in. And we experienced very, very little uh, issues or damage down here on the bottom of our airplane. We were landing just on dirt. It wasn't even grass and it did really well. We had no issues coming back in to land. A couple of last things to keep in mind about the V900 is that it is extremely fast and thusly will require a rather large flying field. A-Main Hobbies has a field behind our Chico facility and it's always been adequate until today. So that's why we went to a proper airport to really open this V900 up. Also, inside the battery compartment, it is pretty dang tight. So, E-Flight recommends a battery pack the physical specifications of that battery pack. Do not get anything larger. It is really important to follow those specs because this foam in here that tapers tends to get spread out or the battery pack uh, will not let the canopy go all the way down. So the result being the canopy will not close all the way 
and this seam right here will not be tight. The canopy just kind of kind of lifts up like that when the battery is, is bigger than it should be. We experienced about four to five minutes worth of runtime with our four cell, 1800 milliamps. Uh, but that is something to consider when choosing your battery for the V900. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video of the E-Flight V900 airplane. If you have any questions or comments for us, please go ahead and leave that down below. And if you want more information on this airplane or anything else we talked about in this video, go ahead and check out the links down below as well. My name is Brett with A-Main Hobbies. Thanks for watching.